cells are the plant's response to a stimulus. And that could be an insect, a mite, bacteria, or fungi. And what happens is the plant creates these distortions of tissue. It's very similar to like a benign tumor in a human where the feeding may stimulate the plant to have this abnormal growth. And when we see them, it's probably too late. The insect is already inside developing or have already left. Galls can be identified by the type of plant, the location of the plant, and what it may resemble. Some common names of galls that we see in Nebraska include the oak bullet gall, which look like little round spears on the twig. We also have oak apple gall, which look like these larger spears resembling apples on the leaf. We also have oak rosette galls that look like little rosettes on the twigs. And then we've got things like maple bladder gall and linden finger gall, which look like little fingers that are coming out of the leaf. So again, descriptive, but also very vague. There's also an ash flower gall on the male ash trees that look like clumps in the tree. People get pretty worried about them, but it's just the tree's response to a feeding organism. Some gall makers include insects, such as midges, which is also another name for a small fly. We also have cynipid wasps, which are really teeny tiny little flies that can be making these galls. We also have adilgids and aphid like insects. There are also mites that can cause galls on leaves. The important thing to know is none of these gall making organisms are pests of humans and they can't bite and they will not cause adverse human health effects. When an organism induces these galls or the plants to make these galls, what it does, it creates a protective place for them to feed on that plant and develop. And what happens during long-term infestations is that the adult emerges, mates, and then lays eggs again on that host plant. Unfortunately, because these galls are constructed in such a way that it protects that organism, insecticides are not gonna be effective. There are over 600 species of galls in oak trees in North America. So you can see that there are so many different kinds. They are, always, they are often un, like, unevenly distributed on your property. So some trees may have them and some trees won't. And then on some trees, they may have more galls on some locations than others. And that's pretty normal too. Only the actively growing tissue can induce galls and in what it may happen with a lot of like the great infestation is that it may stunt the growth of that plant. So the best thing to do when you have galls is to prune them off if you can reach them. You could even get one of those long pruners and prune them off. So next time you see something strange on your plant, on your tree, think about whether it could be a gall. We do have the gall to complain about what's happening, but there's not a lot that we can do. So when you see these oddities, just appreciate them and go back and enjoy the beauty in your garden.